it started at the back. I don't know why I started at the top today, but. Right out. So today is wash day. It is January 5th. And if you guys have been watching, I think the last video was December 18th, wash day. And I just put it up, and that was actually the last time I washed the hair. So I held off just to see. It was not dirty, they had lint in it but I was able to get the lint out and it wasn't dirty so if it's not dirty I'm not going to you know if it's not broke don't fix it it was doing just fine but today was the day because it's time and they had gotten bath soap in their hair so alright sit up I like how that's combing through I just had to re-wet it. Just get Turn around. So, this is where I am now. Um, overall, it was in need of a wash. Because it was dry. And I knew that because of the soap. But I had been moisturizing every day. And um, combing. So that it wouldn't be a disaster come today. And I'm getting ready to show you what I did. I just did a basic wash. I have a new product that I'm using. I was going to wait until the second time I used it. But I will come back and tell you guys if there are any issues with it. But so far... Um, I'm liking it. There's a lot of slip to it. And I just want to make sure, hopefully there are no allergies or anything, but, um, seems to be good so far because I haven't been using it myself and I like it. And so I will show you the two products, but... You can see, or the two products I've used today, and I'm just spritzing with water because it's starting to dry up, but um, I just basically coated the, her whole hair pretty much in sections like this. I just pulled it apart and coated it with this product so you can see how much I leave, how much product I leave or put on. Especially on wash day, I want it to be heavy. I'm not using shea butter today. I did not use any olive oil today. I'm just using this because I need to see how it works. And actually, there's another product, but I'm not going to. Um, I'll use it once I comb their hair again. I don't want to mix two new products. I want to see how they react. This is something I suggest you not do. Turn around, little. Don't mix anything when it's new because you want to see if it does what the product says. So 
Well, I'm not sure. I probably will make this one video with the two girls, even though the baby does need a hair wash. You falling asleep, Layla? Um, I'll probably just put the two together. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. She is not feeling well. She's been running a fever since last night. But nonetheless, I cannot put this off any longer. Backwards barrettes, but that's okay. Well, this is absorbing nicely the way I need it to. One more spray. Damn. I just I like the way it's. I like the way it's doing. I really do like the the reaction so far. It's easy to get through her hair. Easy to comb through her hair. And show you guys this way. Battery's about to die, but we go. Go just a basic preschool, kindergarten, easy, simple style. Um. Okay, this is what I use today. Manoy Oil Salivian Anti-Breakage Conditioner with Omega-3 and 6. Helps reduce protein loss for stronger hair. And we are in the midst of winter and we have very hard water. And her hair especially needs a lot of TLC. And let's see if I can get some ingredients on here. So I watch out. Um, I know besides the Manoy oil, which is excellent in itself, and the Omega-3, there's Tahitian coconut oil, Polynesian women for centuries protect and care for their shiny hair, healthy hair. Legendary for hair, our rich penetrating formula. Omega-3 plus antioxidants protect the hair from breakage and protein loss caused by daily styling. Perfect for natural relaxed textured, color treated or thermal treated hair. It's supposed to help it make it stronger. You can use it as a uh, as a leave-in, like it says, or as a and it says reapply daily, or you can use it as a deep conditioner for 10 to 15 minutes or leave overnight, which I have done all of the above and I like it. Um, canola oil, glycerin, of course, coconut oil. Gardena flower extract, cocoa seed, cocoa butter, uh, olive oil, aloe, shea butter. Let's see, what was I getting ready to say? Um, I have to be careful of aloe with them, and I think that is the issue with um, the Carol's Daughter shampoo because of the aloe even though it's a good um, it does well but I think the aloe is what dries their hair out you know I do I do get a good good clean wash out of it if I use the brush and brush it through otherwise it just kind of sits on their hair but I think it's the aloe that um, is too much aloe that dries their hair out so. There we go. It's kind of smooth. Well, anywho. I have a cut. 
Okay, we'll get you a band-aid. The other thing that I used after I put that on, I based her scalp with Indian hemp. So that's all over her scalp. I just sectioned it off with the um, rat tail comb and put it all throughout. So now her hair is nice and moisturized. It is so soft. I see that shine. How does it feel? Does it feel okay? Yeah. Is it not itchy or anything? No. no? Okay, let me know if it starts. Yeah, yeah right now. Okay. Give me a it right now. Wait just a minute. Let me know if it starts to feel itchy or anything, okay? Layla? If your hair starts to feel itchy or anything, let me know, okay? Hmm, put your blanket on you. Let me see. And that, alright guys, I'll be back.